hello everyone in this video i will be talking about the classification of farm animals as you know farm animals are those animals which are raised at farms for milk production for meat production for egg production etc and these animals are sheep goat camel and many more so how can we classify these animals or what are the specific terms which are only used for one group of animals so these animals can be classified according to the structure of their stomach they can also be classified according to what they produce and there is also a general scientific classification or taxonomic classification but in this video i will only be talking about the classification on the basis of their stomach and the classification on the basis of what they produce so do you think that different farm animals might have a different type of stomach yes you are right actually farm animals are grouped uh, are classified into two main groups on the basis of their stomach one of them is ruminants and the other one are called non ruminants or monogastric so ruminants are the animals which have stomach with four compartments and these compartments are rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum and the example of these animals are cattle buffalo sheep goat camel etc similarly non ruminant or monogastric animals do not have uh, we, we have a, only a simple stomach which and they don't do not have a compartmental stomach uh, so the major difference between these animals is that the ruminants are capable of digesting cellulose or plant material because they have billions of microorganism in their rumen which do this job but for non ruminants or monogastric animals they do not uh, they are not able to digest this material ruminants are uh, can be further classified into two groups large ruminants and small ruminants large uh, the term large ruminants is mostly used for cattle and buffalo uh, similarly the term small ruminants is used for sheep and goat as i have uh, already mentioned that these animals can also be classified or uh, on the basis of what they produce so let let discuss Uh, the classification on the basis of what cattle produces so cattle can be classified into dairy cattle beef cattle and a dual purpose dairy cattle is used for milk production beef cattle is raised for beef production and there are few cattle which are raised for dual purpose uh, milk and beef both the example of dairy cattle is holstein friesian similarly the, uh, the example of uh, beef cattle is black angus and and we can say that saiwal cattle is mostly used for dual purpose cattle can also be classified on the basis of the presence of or absence of hump there are actually two types of cattle one is called zebu and the other one is called european cattle the zebu cattle has a large hump while the european cattle do, do not have a hump sheep can be classified into two groups on the basis of their phenotype one uh, in fat tail sheep and thin tail sheep fat tail sheep are called so because they store a large amount of fat in their tail or hind region while thin tail sheep do not store a large amount of fat in their tail region so they can also be classified 
according to what they produce like they can be classified into dairy sheep they, they can be classified into meat type they can be classified into wool type and similarly goat can also be classified into dairy goat they can also be classified as meat type goat and there is an other type which is also called as hair type goat so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it do let me know in comment section if you know any other way to classify farm animals i would really love to hear from you thank you